स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया If you have chosen to or are considering embarking on an exciting journey of hackathon this program is for you Winning a hackathon isn't just about building a cool project it's about solving real problems in innovative ways Today we will meet a past winner of Smart India Hackathon Ame to get some insights on the problem statement number 1373 of SIH 2023 which is one stop solution for monitoring dairy plant energy consumption hygiene and packaging waste collection from consumers so ame welcome to the show thank you so much sir for giving me this opportunity and uh, i'm really uh, grateful to advise or uh, to show the pathway for the youngsters who are competing this uh, 2023 hackathon right thank really, you thank so you, much ame so for much. that and uh, to begin with let's know something about you please tell us something about you what you are doing i mean what you've been doing and then thereafter your past experience of the hackathon which you went on to win yes sir yes sir so sir basically myself uh, ame amol suyamji i am belonging from the sangli district maharashtra uh, but uh, i am studying in institute of chemical technology mumbai which is uh, asia's finest college for the chemical engineering and uh, from past 5 years i am working as a researcher there so we are developing various prototypes various new innovative products for the scaling in the market so for the hackathon uh, in in my first year 2019 we were the first to participate in the hackathon we cannot won this hackathon uh, we are just finalized finalist for this hackathon but uh, when we are coming back in the after the covid 2020 2022 uh, where hackathon we announced and we get the problem statements and uh, it is uh, completely near to our uh, research and resources so we are just competing in this competition with this problem statements and we won the 2020 2022 uh, hackathon competition so right now i am doing my own startup which is called uh, riga industries which is completely related to the smart india hackathon problem statements so i am right now working because of the my startup is starting because of the only sih 2022 because this is the exactly key point where i get the kick start for my startup that's so sorry so that's very nice to know i mean that you were able to capitalize on the start that you got from smart india hackathon you were able to build upon that success and today you are on an entrepreneurial journey that's wonderful and i hope all others are able to do that uh, what you have been able to great so am i to uh, talk about the problem statements of this year uh, the one that you've chosen please something uh, tell us something about that why have you chosen that particular problem statement to discuss uh, i mean is it close to your comfort zone or like you think you have an expertise over that uh technically or otherwise so t- tell us why have you chosen this particular statement to discuss with us today yeah yes sir yes so sir uh, uh, i already told you i am the founder of riga industries and i want to introduce what riga industries do right now so we all know that in india there is a biggest problem about the liquid food preservation in the milk sector so we all know that uh, the daily requirement of the india is near about 65 lakh liter milk for the daily consumption but india can produce only 15 lakh liter per milk for the per day per day basis then what is the dif- this is difference which is a 50 lakh liter milk is a completely non organized and non organic milk which is a pr- produced from the some uh, chemicals or this is a preserved milk is all where we are selling in the whole country so actually we are solving this problem so what we are doing exactly uh, some milk pasteurization we all know that milk is pasteurized using the thermal technologies uh milk uh, getting from the uh, uh, farmers and they were heated it till the 120 degrees centigrade 140 degrees centigrade and suddenly it chilled out 
to the minus 4 degree, minus 10 degree centigrade, and it will be the pasteurized, it will be completely killing the pathogens. But we are seeing only the killing the pathogens. We are not seeing the, they are also killing the all protein content, which are the uh, nutrient content, which is a very useful for our body, as well as in the calcium content is also killed down in this whole procedure. So this is a thermal technology procedure. It's not only uh, preserve the milk, they are also killing the, which are the important factors in the milk, they are also killing these factors. So we are uh, working on for these systems. So what we are doing, we develop one new phenomena named the cavitation. If you are asking for the any mechanical engineer, what is uh, cavitation is good or bad, it is definitely said it is good because it is damaging the machines. But if you are asking for the any chemical engineer, cavitation is a good concept, then it is uh, damn sure that cavitation is one of the good concepts. Because using this cavitational phenomena, we are killing these pathogens and we can control this cavitation. So we can also save the nutritional factors as well as protein factor, fat factor, we are saving from this uh, phenomenon. So using this non-thermal approach, we are preserving the milk for the longer time. You guys all know that the milk is, after the pasteurization, milk can be preserved for the, only for the three to four days. But using our phenomena, the milk can be the preserve for the 21 days, which is the more sufficient time to, uh, to travel the milk from the India anywhere. So we are exactly working on these systems. And why I'm choosing, uh, I'm right back to your uh, question. Why I'm choosing this problem statement. If you're going to, through this problem statement, this is exactly, this is a one-stop solution of the monitoring, dairy plant, energy consumption, hygiene and packaging waste collection from the consumers. So this is the first part, which is in this uh, one-stop solution for the monitoring the dairy plant energy consumption. So this is exactly a factor. We all know that for the in the dairy right now in the dairy sector there is a per liter there is three rupees are charging for the pasteurization and thermal technologies because it has a heavy energy consumption and some of the biggest dairies i don't want to reveal their names but some of the biggest dairies are also using some chemical preservatives to preserve the milk in this milk so it is a completely unhygienic system is right now ruling in the india so this is the problem statement uh, come up with the government of the animal husbandry you can see so we have to reduce this consumption of the energy using non-thermal ways which we are already developed in the market so for the using our approach there is only 21 days of the shelf life but if we can do for any packaging material for that system, right now the milk is only uh, polythene, uh, normal polythene packs or milk is uh, distributed in all over India. But if you are come up with the new materials, which can be the preserve the milk, enhance the milk shelf life, then it is very grateful for the milk sector. We also know that the right now the tetra packs are coming in the market for the shelf life enhancement in the liquid foods. So we can also try this shell, uh, tetra packs for the uh, milk only. That's why I'm choosing this problem statement because this is exactly need for the today's India generation. Certainly you established that you are the right person to be dealing with this problem statement first with your expertise and your <laughs> domain knowledge basically. So now let's talk about it. Like uh, how will you start? Uh, to begin with, you know, you need to have a team, the team formation, the responsibility allocation and there are, you know, other things like research and preparation and all that. So how do you start this? Let's begin with the team first. What kind of a team will you put up for this and how will you allocate responsibilities? Yes, exactly. Sir. So, sir, exactly we are performing this exactly sector in the hardware sector. So we have to present the a one prototype model. So this prototype is very attractive and means you have to show them the exactly attractive prototype as well as we have to, this prototype is also controlled by softwares, not controlled by uh, manual. So this is easier for the softwares, means we can put only one, uh, push one button and those whole prototype is started. So this is a not only saying, this is a behind that, there is all software work. So we have to take one software knowledgeable person, otherwise software engineer from your colleges. You can get this one from the team because it is very useful for the today's uh, presentations and today's generation. Because no one wants to start the manually. Because in the manually, there is uh, extra charges for the labor costing and all this. 
so we have to reduce this cost using the software using the technology you, which is reduce the human efforts uh, from the whole uh, prototype second thing for you are going for the hardware thing so we are pick up the some mechanical uh, two mechanical engineers for that because uh, our whole setup is in the ss uh, ss uh, steel and there is a cavitational setup and there is a motor pump all these things we have to join we have to calculate these things so we need to uh, mechanical engineer for the setup building uh, for the concept and third there is not only the task for the setup we have to preserve the milk also so we are also take the one food technologist for from the our college so we can get some help from his technical approach for the how can we milk preserve we have to check the nutritional analysis we have to check the shelf life analysis from him so we have to uh, some distances and all these things and third thing we are in our uh, group there is one girl uh, named akanksha he is really good in the market survey means how the other solutions are not better than us how the our solution is very good for this uh, fit for this problem statement so this all team i consume and uh, there is a one leader for the who already known for the this exactly what we are solving and what we want to uh, do for the so, socially or for the our peoples so exactly there is one leader who can build this team so actually according to that i build my team and i went to the sih okay so this is about team formation that you would you know kind of roughly yeah. suggest now what about uh, the planning part how do you start the entire you know uh, preparation for this yeah so on the our time so we are right now on that time we are working on the sugarcane juice preservation using same concept because we all know that sugarcane is uh, degraded within a 15 to 20 minutes so on that certain time the sih smart india hackathon stated these statements uh, for uh, the milk preservation using the non thermal approach so we are just think about that if you if we can preserve the sugarcane juice using the same phenomena so that uh, it's possible to we can uh, uh, preserve the milk with the same phenomena so we just took the trial from the initial basis and we are just analyzing like uh, how the we uh, how we check the shelf life for the sugarcane juice the same thing we are analyze for the milk but uh, i already mentioned when we are taking the food technologies we, are, we uh, on that time we really don't know there is a one pasteurization test which is alkyl phosphate test we have to check is it is the real milk is pasteurized or not for that we have to do these things so the food technologies help in this sector so initially we are doing on this all this experiment on the lab scale we are going to near about one to near about one to two weeks we are doing really hard experiments and all these things because uh, we are in the mumbai and we don't get any raw milk from anywhere so we have to uh, take the raw milk from the panvel and we are coming from there and then we are start the treating and after that we are test thing analyzing and finalizing the reports these all things are going in this 2 to 3 weeks and afterwards 2 to 3 weeks we get the damn confidence on this system ki we can preserve this milk using this uh, system so once we get the proven results from the lab scale we are then we have get the very confidence for the prototype building because uh, no one will be allowed you to build the prototype without confirmed lab reports Uh, because it is a wastage of money and then once our nabl certified results are came from the lab uh, lab tested reports then we are confirm that we can build this prototype for the the system so on that time first time we are build the prototype for the 450 liter per hour setup for as a prototype uh, which is built uh, in within a one month before the sih we build this uh, prototype with the help of the all team members and we really work hard for this prototype because on the engineering level you can't build one setup like a industrial setup in the mini sector it is one of the toughest job for the all the engineers because the, there is one mistake will be the bone all wrong results the, then our setup will be built before the sih finals near about before one to two weeks our setup is built out then on this setup we have to test it trials in our college because we don't want to fail in the front of the judges uh, in sih 
so we just tested the trials there are the lots of uh, wrong things we are happen in our setups so we just corrected these all things in within a two these two weeks and just finalize our prototype and we just build this prototype for the sih and this is uh, the final prototype which is built from us was very attractive means it was a really uh, uh, means anyone can uh, learn from this prototype how we can preserve the milk using the non thermal approach okay so what you are practically saying is that those evaluation parts those you know when judges and evaluators come and see when suggest you those are very crucial those are very very critical and they can you know kind of change the entire course of the thing so and 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 you also said it's very positive for the contestant also because sometimes you come up with something better something even more you know uh, uh, purposeful so how should one tackle this particular phase when these changes are about to happen or are bound to happen how to take this positively so so uh, on the time we were means uh, first day was also very bad for our setup also means first day was bad for the every team because team evaluators are they are uh, expecting from us is very different things rather than uh, we are what we are prepared so we have to work hard from the after the evaluation in the night we are very uh, doing the various type of the whatever remaining literature we are also knowing about the scalability we are also taking for the how you will get the revenue from this setup so they are preparing the in this six days they are preparing in your in your entire zone which is entrepreneurship how you can scalable this setup in the market and how you can sell these things in the market otherwise how you can go for the entrepreneurship things from this prototype exactly these things are they are doing they are not evaluating only you they are they are they are also teaching you how to go for the industry what is the difference between the lab scale and industrial scale so they are all teaching from this things so we are just consuming this their things and just working on these things in the night and just showing them from the tomorrow morning yes we are ready with this prototype yes we can do this uh, uh, things uh, solve using our prototype so just this type of the things are getting us the motivation and from the second day whenever we are going for the answering answering the judges and the answers was getting the very confident to the judges also on that time we are getting also confidence yes we can uh, do this prototype for the industrial sector so this is the way how we can the gain the confidence and build up for the second day don't think about the past days what happened uh, yesterday just think about the what we can do for the next day this is a very important thing in the whole sih day and stay positive for this 6 to 7 days because each and every other teams each and every other judges uh, all mentors are only you for the demotivating otherwise they are just thinking how you can break this model how you can break you mera manna ye hai jab tak aap us usko break hone nahi dete ho na tab tak aap ladte raho agar aap wo aakhir tak aapko agar tod nahi saka na aap pakka confidence aa jayega you are the winner of this competition and you can scalable this prototype for the uh, larger scale that's it right i mean thank you so much there was some very strong and very positive uh, recommendations coming from you and i hope uh, people will notice all of that and you know try and make use of whatever insights you have to give us uh, thank you so much for joining us today and uh, we wish you yes. all the best in your venture and uh, uh, good luck Amin. thank you thank you so much thank you so much remember a hackathon is not just a competition it's a fantastic learning opportunity embrace the challenges learn from setbacks and savor the journey Best of luck and may your code compile flawlessly.